How does an eclipse work? An eclipse? That's simple. It's like a game of hide-and-seek in space. But first, you need to know that there are two types of eclipse. Ones that I've seen and ones that I haven't, you mean? That as well. Anyway, the first type of eclipse is when one celestial body like a planet, a star or a moon is hidden, either entirely or partially, by another celestial body. This is an eclipse of Addy by whoops. It's a partial eclipse because you can still see me a little bit. But this is a total eclipse of whoops by Addy. And then the second type of eclipse happens when a celestial body gets between the sun and a planet. An eclipse of the moon occurs when the Earth casts a shadow stopping the sun from lighting the moon. This is a second type of eclipse of Addy by whoops. Mercury and Venus can also pass between the sun, causing part of it to be hidden from us. Here, the black circle is Mercury, but the only celestial body big enough to completely hide the sun from us is... The Moon! What's more, seen from the Earth, the Moon, which is small but very close, and the Sun, which is massive but far away, both look the same size. That's true! Strange! It's pure coincidence, but it provides us with a fantastic show. The Eclipse of the Sun. During an eclipse, the Moon seems to nibble at the Sun bit by bit. Then the sun disappears. Oh, star of the sun, come back! A total eclipse lasts from a few seconds to a few minutes, and the sun is completely hidden. Total eclipse of this cookie! <laughs> a total eclipse brings with it some fascinating phenomena. A strange light appears just before and just after a total eclipse. And during an eclipse, the temperature quickly drops and a breeze suddenly appears. Dogs bark. Because it becomes dark during the day, animals can't understand it and so begin to act a little strangely. <coughs> That's being normal. During an eclipse, we see the sun as we've never seen it before. Its centre is black. In fact, it's the moon we see. And around it is a bright corona, allowing us to monitor solar activity. On top of that, we see stars during the day. Because an eclipse is the shadow of the moon which moves in front of the sun like that, while it's moving, the eclipse forms a band. Just underneath, the eclipse is total. The more one moves away from that band, the more we see a bigger part of the sun and the more it becomes light. But we have to wear glasses to see an eclipse, because the sun is so strong it can seriously damage your eyes. You know, without the sun, oh, oh. we can't see anything. A piece of advice. We should take advantage of sun eclipses. There's only one every three or four years on the Earth. And in any one place on the Earth, there are only one or two every century. And uh, eclipses of the Moon, are they as uh, rare too? As the Earth is four times bigger than the Moon, we can see many more eclipses of the Moon than that of the Sun. And those don't make whoops go loopy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's time for us to eclipse. Goodbye, Earthlings. So, how does an eclipse work? It's like a game of hide-and-seek in space. The moon passes in front of the sun and hides it completely, causing an eclipse of the sun. When the Earth casts a shadow passing between the sun and the moon, that causes an eclipse of the moon. 